Hi writers, let's take out our writing folders. Um, we're going to look at a page in our writing folders that's in one of these sleeves and it is called transition words. We're gonna talk about transition words and I know some of you already know some things about transition words. So on this page we have, um, it looks like the Wizard of Oz, right? If you're familiar with that story, the Yellow Brick Road. And so the story, it starts out with we get to know this character, Dorothy, and then we get to know some of the other characters that she runs into along the way that help her through the story. And in the end, she reaches this place, which is the um, Emerald City. Okay, so when we tell a story, though, we need to use what's called transition words or else the story doesn't always make sense. So I want you to listen to my two examples. So if I was telling this story and I said, Dorothy was a girl, she met a man of straw, she was at the Emerald City. We might not totally understand like the this story here, like all the steps that happened. And so we can use transition words. And so to begin, at the beginning of a story, we use words like these. In the beginning, first, one time, one morning, one day, one night. So that sets up the story. So you know, when is this happening? And um, it is the beginning. And then we have the middle. So if we wanted to start the story, we would say, one day a girl named Dorothy uh, was stuck in a tornado, because that's kind of what happens at the beginning. Okay, and then we meet the middle of the story. And so these are some transition words we use in the middle. Then, second, next, suddenly, later, meanwhile, and so it moves the story forward, it moves it forward. So if we know that she was stuck in a tornado, um, Suddenly, she woke up and she was in a new land. Then she met a man, a scarecrow man. And so then we use words that are like, and then this happened, and then this happened. So we understand um, the order of events. Transition words that can go in the end are in the end, last, finally, at last, eventually. So we sort of wrap up the story. So for instance, in Wizard of Oz, we might say, um, finally, they reached the Emerald City and they met the Wicked Witch. And so that is um, what we're going to try using today in our writing. So what I'd like you to do is think of something you'd like to write about. So, hmm, I'm going to use my tools and I'm going to look at all the writing topics I added recently. I added a lot of new things. Let's see. I want to write about, hmm, let's see. Let me look at the events. Halloween party, taking Lou to a yurt. These are places I know about Timothy Lake, Warder Elementary, my house, Warder. Oh boy, I haven't been there in a long time. That's a school that I went to when I was a kid. Maybe I'll do a story about Warder. Ooh, I have a good story about Warder. We had a day where we had a small um, fire in the kitchen of our school and we all had to evacuate the school. Fire trucks had to come in. They put out the little fire. It wasn't a very big deal, but school had to be canceled for the rest of the day. So it's kind of like a, whoa, this is kind of in a big event sort of a day. Okay, so let me think. My people will be me and my classmates and my teacher, Mrs. Klein. She was my second grade teacher. And the location is at Water Elementary. And there's no animals in the story. Oh, let me use my hand. That'll help me. Think of the details. So I just talked about the characters and where it takes place. So I know that I was um, in the middle of handwriting practice. We were learning our, um, some of our um, letters. And then the second detail is um, the fire alarm went off. And then we all had to stay outside in a field for a long time while they called all our parents to tell them they had to come pick us up. And my feelings were that I was surprised and um, concerned, wondering like, is school gonna be, are we gonna have school tomorrow because of this? Okay. Okay, so now that I feel like I know this, I could also sketch it out on paper if I wanted to, to help me remember all of the details. So I'm gonna tell this story using my transition words. Okay. So I'm gonna go with one day in second grade one day to begin my story. And I'm putting second grade as a detail to know what grade I was in. Okay. One day, one, one, wah, wah, wah. 
W. I know I want to start my sentence with a capital letter. One, one, wa, uh, 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 umbrella, umbrella, one, one, n, 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 n. One, I leave a space, day, d, d, a, a, day. I actually know that day ends with a Y. One day in second grade. In is one of my sight words. I know it is I, N, in, second, S, 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 E, 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 S, E, K, K, K. That could be a C or a K. I'm going to do my best guess and put C. Second, second, I, 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 second, N, 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 second, second, second. Hmm. I don't know if that's a D or a T. That's kind of tricky. I'm going to go with a D. Second, grade, G, gr, R, gray, A, aid, grade. And it says its name, so it tells me there's probably a silent E at the end. And second grade, our school had a fire. And so I would keep writing that. But I'm going to move on so you can know the next transition words we're going to use. Okay, so my first, it starts with one day in second grade, there was a fire in our cafeteria. Okay, so now I need to think about the middle of the story. So I'm going to look at my transition words. Um, suddenly, the fire alarm went off. That's a good one. Suddenly, a fire alarm went off. So this kept going, dot, 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 dot. I would have kept writing, but because I'm trying to make this video under 20 minutes for you, I'm not going to do my whole 20 minutes of writing with myself for you to watch because it would be too long. So I'm going to skip ahead. So suddenly, and suddenly is actually here on my paper so I can look at it for help. Suddenly, this is a new sentence, a new thought, so I need to start with a capital letter. Suddenly, suddenly, the is a sight word, T-H-E, the fire, F. Fi I, fire R, and that says its name. I says its name, so I think there's a silent E. The fire alarm. Uh, uh, alarm. Uh, uh, you? Oh, arm. Uh, A, R, 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 alarm. M. -m. And I would keep going da, 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 to finish that thought. Okay, so I have. One day in second grade, a fire started in the cafeteria. Suddenly, the fire alarm went off. Um, I could add another detail like, uh, then we all, we all evacuated the school. So that could be like part of the middle transition words. Um, and then to wrap it up, to make the end, I want to look at my end transition words. Eventually, our parents had to pick us up from school. Eventually. So that's how I'm going to end my story. And again, eventually is here on my list of words to do, do, do. So that's a place where some words are there to help you. Eventually, eventually, and I'm starting with a capital letter because it's a new sentence because it's a new thought. Eventually, big word. Our, 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 our. That's a tricky one. Sometimes O W makes ow. Our 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 parents p p pair. Ooh, that's tricky. Pair pair eh 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 eh. Like maybe an e. Pair pair r r pair eh eh e. Pair n n. N, parent, T, parents, S, and then I would keep going. Okay, and so I want you to think about something that you want to write about and think about using some of those transition words while you write. You can use your story hand for help if you have an idea of something to write about. Of course, keep adding to your writing topics because it makes it easier for you to think of something to write about. You also have your list of things that are good. 
When you're done, pull out that writing stamina chart. So I want you to move to the next date. And if you, I, I included another one of these. So if you ran out, you probably ran out of spaces, just work on the next one. So if you have an extra one of these and I'll keep giving you these so that when you run out, you can do the next one. And so you see how my stamina is going up, 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 up. Our class goal right now is 13 minutes of writing by yourself. If you can write all the way to 20, awesome. If you're not there yet, that's okay. You're still working on it. You're still learning. All right. Happy writing. Bye-bye.